Blue Barbecue and other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I've got going on for you. Uh, I cooked a whole spatchcock chicken in the kettle pizza contraption for the Weber Grill, a uh, device designed to get the temperature way up hot, like six, 700 degrees to cook pizzas. But you can only cook chickens at about 300 to 350, get that 300 to 325 range is, you know, really good to cook chickens. And so it's about taming the fire. But I've fooled with that kettle pizza since last spring trying to cook other things. I've cooked burgers, I've cooked okra, I've cooked uh, fish, I've cooked lots of things in that kettle pizza, but I hadn't been successful at cooking chicken. This is my third attempt. You didn't see the other twos because they're such miserable fails that I didn't put them on YouTube. The first one, that chicken turned into charcoal. Looked like a piece of tire out in the road. Uh, the second one, once you got through the burn layer, you could eat it, but it was a little dry. But today's was juicy. Now the skin did burn a little bit, but I know what happened. Today I used a pork rub on it. By the way, it was a commercial rub. It's not about the recipe today. It's about the technique. All right, and it had some sugar in it because it's made for pork butts and stuff. It was sort of a sweet rub on it. And uh, that helped it burn. And also, once the temperature got up to about 400, I should have backed those vents way back, only back to about, about halfway. And then finally, I closed them off to get the temperature back down to about between 325, 350. It was in 375 range there once I closed off the vents. But I should have done that earlier. So the top of the skin uh, on the breast of this chicken was black, but strangely enough, my wife and daughter loved it. I wasn't gonna put this on because the chicken wasn't very pretty, but it was really, really good. Very juicy, very tasty, and it was so easy to cook a, a spatchcock chicken with the kettle pizza. Um, I just took a basket and shoved it in there like an eight track and pulled it back out and flipped it around, and in an hour, we had, uh, a really delicious chicken. Really like the way it came out. This is the third time I tried it. First time I just had a bed of coals. Second time uh, I put a drip pan in there and the coals around the outside. This time I put the coals around the outside and the drip pan was full of water. So I had the water pan in there, kept the chicken moist. Anyway, this is not about the recipe. I did marinate the chicken in a marinade I made from a cookbook and I used a store-bought rub on it, but the chicken came out delicious. Here's how it happened on the kettle pizza on the Weber kettle. Big Lou barbecue. All right, let's get the grill thrills on. I used a whole chimney of lit coals plus some used coals that were there. There's a few uh, coals in the front, but most of them aren't even lit. Most of them go around the back and the sides of the water drip pan right there in the center. Well, now we just set the kettle pizza contraption on like that. It's got the grill in there and then we put the lid on. And the chicken, I just spatchcocked after marinating it and putting the rub on it and stuck it in that basket right there. Let's get it on the grill. All right, so I got that chicken. Looks like that right there. And we're gonna walk over here and put it in. All right, it was marinated for a few hours and then I put a rub on it and we're just gonna slide it in there just like that. The grill is up to about 300 on the back thermometer and about 250 right here on the front thermometer. So I think that's just about perfect. All right, the temperature is starting to climb above 400 and that's starting to worry me. So I'm gonna take the lid off. It's gonna let some of the heat out. I want it to do that. I know if you're looking, you ain't cooking, but I think it's too hot right now anyway. And see how this bird looks. Look at that, isn't that good? Been on about 20 minutes. Been on just about 20 minutes. There's the bed of coal. All right. And uh, I'm gonna flip it over and we'll show you what it looks like there. Maybe that tip will go back down now that I took the top off. That's what it looks like inside there. All right, I'm gonna try to do this. One. Hold the camera in one hand. Look, it doesn't look too bad, but it's time to flip it. Time to flip it. Did you see what it looked like right there? Let's slide that thing back in there. Just like that. All right, we're gonna let it go about another 20 minutes and I'll probably turn it over again. About another 20 and I'm expecting a full hour on this. All right, well, after I flipped it, you saw that the last time. What I did was I uh, closed off the bottom vents and the temperatures dropped down to almost 350, about where I want it to be. 400 was a little too hot. All right, I'm gonna take a peek here. I know if you're looking, you ain't cooking, but this is an experiment. We wanna see what it is, and I don't have a camera inside the grill. So that's what it's looking like right there. Can you hear it? Oh, I wish you could smell it. It smells good. All right, so we got the stuff dripping down in the um, drip pan. Coals are all going good in the semicircle there. Not a whole lot in the front. And uh, that's that bottom side of the chicken. I'm gonna flip it over 
and it's been on about 40 minutes right now. All right, so let's put the lid on. All right, and we're gonna come over here. Pull this little basket out like that. Oh gosh, it smells good. Ah, charcoal again, dead nabbit. I'm not gonna leave it in there long. Ah, oh, rats, left it in there too long. All right, um, I'm gonna uh, get a temperature probe and see what it looks like. All right, well, I just checked this a few minutes ago and it's about 134. That was about 10 minutes ago. It's now at 179, that's in the breast. Breast is done at 165, it's getting up to 180. I'm sure the thighs are done. Falling in there like butter, 184, 199. So yeah, this chicken's done, time to pull it out. Let's see what the bottom looks like. I took the top off so we can see this, all right? We uh, get the thermometer right here. Bottom don't look bad at all, y'all. Bottom don't look bad at all. Mm -mm. All right, we're gonna pull this inside and uh, take a test test of it. And I know what I need to do next time. Shut the vents off earlier, keep that temperature down to 350 and uh, keep water in that pan right there. All right, let's have a look at this bird. It's rested. It's in the uh, basket. Unlock this little slide thing and take the deal off just like that. All right, and let's see if I can get the slide out of this top piece of the basket. I think it's gonna be just fine. It's kind of falling apart. Yep. That was fun. All right. Disappointed in how black that skin got, but I don't think it's burned. Look at that. See, it's still juicy underneath there. I don't know. I mean, that that's juicy chicken right there, okay? So it's just that skin, the surface skin, that kind of got black there. I did manage to keep the temperatures down. Let's get this chicken cut up though, all right? So just go right through there like that. Get the thigh off. Get this cut apart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, next, I'm gonna do this again. And next time I won't have that skin so black cause I'll keep the temperature even further down. Now let's get a wing off of here. Look at that. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's take a slice of this breast. Let's slice the breast instead of, cause sometimes I just cut it like this, but I'm gonna slice it. Look at that. Look at that right there. Whoo! All right. That other half's gonna be the same way, y'all. Let's try it. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. All right, for as hot as it said, over 180 degrees there in the breast, it sure don't look dry. Juicy and moist. A little disappointed in that the skin still burned, but this is not like the first two times I tried it. So I'm gonna call this a, a success. Next time though, once that temperature reaches to 350, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those vents way back on the bottom of that kettle. All right, here's the leg. Got that thing hanging off of it right there. Okay, I know it's kind of gross. I know, I'm just gonna bite it. Skin is crispy. Mm-hmm. Mayonnaise good, everything's good. Hey, can you cook a chicken in a kettle pizza? Yep, and I'm gonna get better at it too. Big Lou Barbecue.